What's up guys, Brandon Washington here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the number one accessory I think every filmmaker needs to have in their bag. And if you don't have it already, you need to go pick it up right now. What's up guys, thanks for checking out the channel. If this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button, because if you're all about filmmaking tips, gear, tutorials, those kind of things, this is the perfect channel for you. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of the things that I just recently picked up, and I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't already owned it, and that is a variable ND filter. So about three or four months ago, I was actually with a buddy of mine, and we went down to Los Angeles just to kind of shoot around. We had a couple gigs out there, and so we wanted to kind of you know, make the most out of that trip. And while I was down there, I went into one of the local camera shops, and one of the guys was telling me about this, a variable ND filter. After using it, it is by far my favorite piece of accessory in my kit. Now, if you don't know what a variable ND filter is, that's what we're going to be going over in this video. And of course, because it's Tuesday, we're going to put two minutes on the clock and we're going to go ahead and go over what a variable ND filter is. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, so first things first, what is an ND filter? So an ND filter, think of that as like sunglasses for your lens. Now, the nice thing about this is this allows you to really control the light. Now, ND filters come in all different sizes, shapes, and for different types of lenses. However, in this case, we're primarily talking about this variable ND filter. Now, what a variable ND filter allows you to do is to have multiple stops of ND. So instead of having to have multiple ND filters that you have to constantly screw on and off of your camera or your lens, well, now you only have one, and as you turn it, it actually adjusts the exposure for you. So if you're shooting outside in a bright scenario, and you wanna shoot at a very low ISO and have a really low sh aperture, so that way you can have a really good shallow depth of field, well, most of the time when you're shooting outside and you don't have any type of ND, this is basically impossible because you have to crank up your aperture in order to get your exposure down. But now with this variable ND filter, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to control that light. The other reason why I like the variable ND filter is if you ever needed to adjust your actual exposure while shooting, it's a whole lot easier to do that with the variable ND filter. See, now you don't actually have to get those hard clicks, but you can just slowly turn the variable ND filter to adjust the exposure as needed. So for example, here's a shot right here with me using the ND filter. Looks properly exposed. But then the second I actually take off the ND filter, you can see just how much that this ND filter has helped me to get this exposure. Again, it's all about getting exactly what you want out of your camera and using the ND filter to help you adjust the light as needed. But that's it, it's literally just that simple. I think a variable ND filter is something that every filmmaker should have in their kit. Even if you're not sure exactly how you'll use it, trust me, once you get your hands on it, especially if you're someone who likes to shoot outside during the sunlight, this is something that's gonna strongly, strongly come in handy. Anytime you're dealing with harsh light or just, you know, even if you're trying to shoot during golden hour, I have found that this variable ND filter has been so, so helpful to my arsenal of gear. And because I have these rings that allow me to adapt it to different lenses, I only needed to buy one. So yeah, well, it might be a little bit of an investment for some, it's definitely an investment that you'll be able to use continuously. Even if you upgrade your lenses in the future, you can keep this same ND filter while you go. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you wanna know what ND filter I'm using, definitely check out the links down below. It is a tip-in, but I'll have links to the exact filter that I'm using. Also, if you wanna know what type of step-up and step-down rings I'm using, I'll try to have those linked down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys have any questions about filmmaking, gear, or tips, tutorials, things like that, leave those down in the comments down below so I can get to those and have more topics for future videos. But until the next video, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.